It's Billy Ray Bates here at the Motor City Comic Con with Mr. H.M. Winant, appearing this weekend at the show. You know, you have done so much great stuff over the years, and there's a lot of things that I want to ask you about. Can we start with Dallas? You were Dallas. you were a character called Ed Chapman on Dallas. Tell right. us. It was a reoccurring it. role. I was. Uh, uh, I can't remember the character's name. She. She was writing books, and I was her agent from New York, a literary agent. And I would come, I, it was a reoccurring role. Every so often, I would show up and encourage her to write. That's all I remember about it. Okay. <laughs> cool. What was the set like? What, did you get a chance to talk much with Larry Hagman? Oh, yeah. Well, I know Larry. Larry and I have done several movies before that, before he ever did Dallas. Well, that's a Dallas was just one of many, many television shows that I did in those days. Actually, I came here in 1956. RKO brought me. I was closing in a show on Broadway called Tea House of the August Moon. Okay. And Sam Fuller saw me in that and hired me to do his movie for RKO called uh, Run of the Arrow. That was my first big feature. So I came out after... Uh, after the show closed and I did that and then I did about 20 25 features after that plus about 250 or more television shows amazing okay so let's go back a little further than Dallas to another TV show I absolutely love the Twilight Zone you were in an amazing episode one of the best episodes ever of the Twilight Zone because it will scare the Wrap out of you, the Howling Man, and you were the main character because right. you you narrated. Yeah, the, the Howling ended. Man. How did all that come about? Oh, uh, actually, I I took my little kid to a, one of those kiddie parks, and he was on the kiddie roller coaster, and standing next to me was an old friend. His kid was on the roller coaster too. He was a director. He turned to me and said, hi, H.M. I said, hi, Ralph, how are you? And next thing I know, the next morning, I get a call to star in uh, Twilight Zone. <laughs> he was the director. Nice. So uh, what about I did this episode of Howling Man of Twilight Zone, which turned out to be one of the best. Wonderful. It's a fabulous episode. Yeah, now, what about Rod Serling? What was he like? I wish I could have met Rod Serling. Who? Oh, Rod Serling. He was a very shy man, actually. Really? Yeah, he, he wrote his scripts into a dictaphone sitting by his pool and his uh, secretary would type it into script form. He was a really nice man. I liked him a lot. And you knew him pretty well. Yeah. My episode wasn't written by him. It was written by Charles Beaumont, okay. who wrote a lot of the Twilight Zones. He wrote the episode The Howling Man, which is just a terrific episode. At the time, I, I, I didn't give it a second thought. We just did it. Be one of the icons. Absolutely. The first time I ever saw it, I remember. It, I remember how I felt when I saw it. It was. It was quite a dark episode. <laughs> right. Part of the cast was, uh, of course, uh, John Carradine, and we were supposed to rehearse for two days. I don't think we opened the script because John was full of stories about uh, about the old days in in film. Oh, so you got to listen to him yeah, instead yeah, of even rehearsing. To all the stories about John Barrymore. <laughs> Ah, very good stories, I bet. Um, okay, now, also as far as TV, um, Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew show, what do you remember of that? You did an episode. I, I think David Wayne and I did that. Okay. Uh, and uh, we did it aboard the Queen Mary. The whole thing was shot on the Queen Mary. It was about the writer, the author, who was like, there was like, they were acting out the scenes. The author was forced to act out scenes from his book, and then he was going to be murdered. Right, 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 right. Uh, I don't remember how about it. I just remember we shot it on the Queen Mary, and David uh, was a, actually another friend of mine, and it was nice, fun to work. Okay. And also, uh, let me see, the star of the show, one of the stars of the show was uh, uh, the Hardy Boy. What the hell? What was his name? Uh, Parker Stevenson or Sean Cassidy? Sean. Sean Cassidy. God, my God. Sean Cassidy, Ryan Cassidy, and David Cassidy. Because oh. I, I, I worked with their mother. With, we did a, a national tour of Sound of Music back in 1977. I played the captain. Shirley and I did. Oh. We toured the whole country. 
Yeah. Yep. Okay, another one. Six million dollar man. Ah, yes. Million dollar man. Uh, and we've got Lee Majors, Lindsay Wagner, and Richard Anderson here this weekend. Right, I worked with all of them. We did Big Valley together, Lee Majors and I. I have a couple of photographs from it, actually. And what else? Oh, of course, there's Get Smart, Batman. Batman. Frosty in... The yeah, I, I played Frosty, right. Okay. Which was like one of Mr. Freeze's henchmen type of... Right, movie. right. And Mr. Freeze was played by Eli Wallach. Yes. Wonderful, Eli yeah, Wallach. Yeah, he's never left New York. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now one more real quick, and I don't know how much you'll remember from this, because evidently it was one episode, Santa Barbara, the daytime soap. I know. I remember <laughs> very so little so about so Santa. I know I did Santa Barbara. I remember very little about it. Yeah. I remember more about um, General Hospital, which I was on for six months. What was your character on General Hospital? I played Mr. Gates, and uh, one of the characters, she was 15 years old, was Laura. Okay. She was 15 at the time. Wow. That's before the character. That was in the 80s. I that was before yeah. Luke ever, ever came on the show. Yes. And I was the bad guy exploiting everybody. But back then, it wasn't international or criminal things. It was, it was like real estate fraud. <laughs> And I remember uh, they got rid of me eventually. I went to Europe or something. I don't remember. But I did it for about six months. Okay. And after I left, Luke came on the scene. And Luke and Laura eventually got they married. They became the whole show. I know. Yeah. <laughs> now, what would you say has been your most rewarding work over the years? Oh, God. Actually, the theater. Working with Katherine Hepburn and As You Like It, Rex Harrison in Love of Four Colonels, those kind of things. Oh, okay. uh, I worked with Ann Jackson, Eli Wallach's wife, in a play called Never Say Never, which was the only flop I was ever involved in. <laughs> we did well, that at, at the, the, booth, the Booth Theater in New York, with lovely theater. Okay. What else? Um, I don't know, there's so many shows, but the one that became an icon was the bloody Twilight Zone, The Howling Man. Yeah. It really is amazing. Wow. Now, how do you spend your time these days? Doing radio. Uh, believe it or not, I'm married to Paula, Paula Winant, and we have a 13-year-old child. I had her when I was 73. Good for you. Boy, that keeps you up, <laughs> She's 13 now. <laughs> And her half brothers are in their 60s. Wow. <laughs> no, I, so I, the oldest, is, yeah, <laughs> right. The oldest one is uh, a musician, international musician. He just came back from Sweden, where he was holding a master class. The one that lives in Los Angeles with me is uh, Scott Winant. He's won a couple of Emmys. He's a producer director. Oh, wonderful. And the uh, very talented youngest one is Bruce Winant. He lives in New Jersey. He's always doing a show. He, he's a, a fantastic musical performer. He has a legit voice. He's extremely talented. Oh, okay. So some have followed you into the performing arts business. Unfortunately, they have. <laughs> and now the new one, Pasha Winant, who I named after my mother, Pesha, uh, she's also interested in getting into the theater. Okay. And that's good, actually. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Okay. Well, I thank you so much for taking the time to talk today. Oh, it was you. wonderful to thank hear. You. I love meeting someone from the Twilight Zone. I really do. Right. It's, it's a pleasure being here. Okay. Well, you have a good show.